In the 1960s, the U.S. naval ship General Nelson Walker was one of 20 ships ferrying troops from the West Coast to Vietnam. I remember thinking that, uh-oh, it's for real. We are really going to go to Vietnam. A bunch of draftees. Lynn Dalpez was one of 2,000 soldiers who spent three weeks on the Walker in 1966, 7,000 miles across the Pacific. Many of the soldiers had never seen an ocean. They had formed an unusually tight bond. They trained together as a unit, were shipped over together, and eventually would fight together. For this group of Vietnam veterans holding a reunion in Tacoma, Washington, the memories came flooding back. Well, Joe, can you believe we actually slept on those things? <laughs> this traveling exhibit shows what soldiers left behind on the ship. Shoes, empty cigarette packs, newspapers, and canvas bunk beds. Little guys got put on the top bunk. The bunk beds became an archive of what young men en route to war were thinking and fearing, recorded in graffiti. It's PFC, MC Santa, 3rd Battalion. Why did you write that information? I really didn't think that we were going to get off the ship. The seas were really rough and I didn't think I was going to make it there. This treasure trove of American military history was discovered accidentally by a former Marine who happened to visit the Navy's ghost fleet on the James River in Virginia in 1997. That Marine was Art Beltrone. While doing research for a movie, The Thin Red Line, Beltrone discovered the writings and drawings on the bottoms of the bunks. This was meant to be seen only by another troop going to war. Some of the messages wished them luck, some of them warned that they wouldn't come back. For four years, Beltrone, his wife, and a small group of volunteers removed dozens of bunks and bags of artifacts from the walker, discovering long-forgotten messages. And there's a calendar down there, too, yeah? Yeah, a calendar. It was important. What they did was they could mark off each day of the voyage. For Dalpaz, the exhibit triggers painful memories of what happened in battle. It's not like a football game. Uh, you don't jubilantly leave the battlefield. You know that guy down there has a mom. He has a girl at home, too. The walker was dismantled in 2006. What remains are these relics. Insight into the soldiers who left their mark before Vietnam made a mark on them. Randall Pinkston, CBS News, Tacoma, Washington.